morning 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 it is saturday it is the 2022 version of september the 24th <laughs> bugsy malone has just flown over the cornfields to try and catch birds that are miles away i don't know what she's up to it's madness <laughs> Welcome back to this first talk show where you're with me, Sean Butler, and of course, Bugsy Malone. We bring into you episode 52 of uh, Tottenham Walks. If you are new to the channel, then welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Wherever you are in the world, whatever time of night or day it is, I really hope that you are happy, you're healthy, and you're doing things that you enjoy with the people that you love. And I really appreciate you spending a few minutes with me today as I try to get some ideas, some thoughts off my chest around... Uh, around Tottenham on this particularly slow news day in the middle of the international break. We're not talking about international football. We're not. We're going to talk about backroom staff and the consequences of going all in on Fabio Paratici. Before we get there, guys, if you haven't already, please do me a favour and smash that like button, the subscribe button if you haven't, and the notification bell. The notification bell, I think, is actually possibly even more important um, because on this channel we don't have the luxury of scheduling our live streams. My work life balance is a bit crazy and chaotic and um, really I don't, you know, I, I only ever have the chance to go live on short notice impromptu. So having that notification bell will alert you and give you the option to be able to tune into it on short notice uh, whenever those things occur. Um, anyway, let's get going, let's get going. So we've spoken a lot over the last couple of weeks on this channel about Antonio Conte and how important you know he obviously is to the club whether he will or won't sign a contract extension um, is he going to have his t head turned by Juventus what does that mean for Harry Kane does he stay if Conte goes etc or vice versa we've also talked about his substitutions and the frequency of their use or the formations and the and the players he should or shouldn't be playing with. All of that stuff is very much focused on the here and now. And of course that's super important. Everyone is focused, you know, 80% of their attention on what's happening to Tottenham right now. Pivotal moments coming up, no doubt about it. But I read today that Fabio Paratici has quietly continued his rebuild of the backroom staff. And he signed, and I'm going to butcher a lot of these names, guys. A guy called Jeff, I think it's Jeff Vater, uh, as an under-21 scout. Guy's like 51 years old. He speaks five languages. I think he used to work for Aston Villa. I think he's been out of the game for a few years now since he got let go, I think, at Burnley. But um, long story short, he's just another one, another name in the incredible pace of recruitment that Tottenham Hotspur have been making in things that we don't really see. Like the, the the scout network, the the coaching departments, the youth development program, technical directors, performance directors, set piece specialists, fitness coaches, and really, I, I want to just call out a few for you for a second to see if any of these names ring a bell to you. Right, Greta Steinson, performance director, signed in the last couple of months. Andy Scolding, performance manager. Chris Scudder, youth scout. Tika Masuda, first team scout. Gianni Vio, technical coach, or as we know him, the set piece man. Gian Paro, no, Gian Piero Vintari. I'm butchering that name, no doubt. He's the guy who is the crazy fitness uh, fitness coach. That's just, what is that, seven names? But I looked on Transfer Market this morning, and Tottenham have officially got about 22 members of. Uh, the footballing side of the business that are in various positions of scouts or coaches or directors and in various formats. 16 of them have been signed after Antonio Conte joined the club. That's about 75%, give or take, of our entire operation behind the scenes. The people, the managers, the, the directors that are responsible for the future of Tottenham have been signed in the last 18 months by Fabio Paratici. And there's more on the way. There's more on the way, right? He's locking down you know, his number twos and number threes and other people to help him in certain areas of the world with scouts and stuff. So my point, guys, is that 
whilst it's important for all of us and it's obviously natural that all of us focus and worry about the futures of Antonio Conte and Harry Kane you know and Hugo Lloris for example because you know their ability to generate success for us is immediate so and and their involvement in our in our energy I guess in our ambition in our passions is very much tangible but on the other hand guys we need to spend a little bit of time thinking and recognizing the other truth which is that you know two years three years blink and you'll miss it like you wake up tomorrow and you'll be three years older right, that's how quick life flies by and it flies by faster the older you get I assure you but and in three years time Antonio Conte's probably not going to be at Tottenham but it'd be amazing if he was still at Tottenham in four years time three years time he has never spent that much time he might if he does sign an extension he might be at Tottenham for this season next season the season after but season after that there's going to be a future and a not too distant future when he will not be a, a, the head coach at Tottenham the manager of Tottenham at that same point in time Harry Kane is going to be 33 34 Sonny will be the same age Hugo Lloris will be long gone and that is going to be a major rebuild. It's right now impossible to even envision how we replace those sorts of players. But they have to be replaced. And they are going to be replaced by better or worse players, who knows. But that essentially is down to Fabio Paratici. Now some people in the community call him Don Paratici. My friends at the Irish Hotspur, Jack and Dave, I think they kind of coined that phrase, Don Paratici, the Don is cooking, salt bay stuff, uh, back in January when he first got his hands on, you know, on a first full window, I think it was, or maybe it wasn't, maybe the previous summer was, but he, look, he's made some great signings, Romero, Kulisevsky, Bentoncourt, Perisic, you hope, will turn out to be a great signing. Bissouma, Richarlison, etc. You know, all of those names you hope we, will, we can look back on in a year's time and reflect on them with the same love and gratitude as we do Romero, Decky, and, and Bentoncourt. But obviously, it's, it's difficult to really assess a footballing director's overall performance in short term you know, viewpoints. You have to zoom out give the guy two or three years and really assess how he has changed things within the club. Other people in the community hate the phrase Don Paratici and they'd rather use Con Paratici. They would rather reflect on the poor signings, the overpayments we've made for players like Emerson, Brian Hill, etc. And also look at the guy's performance at Juventus in his previous role where you know, a lot of people would say he is responsible for some of the mess that they're in now with some of the payments that they made for players like Ronaldo, etc. So there's split opinion, like everything in Tottenham's community, on every given topic. But regardless of how you feel, get comfortable. You know, this guy, for me, having the tentacles of reach that he does and the amount of play people that he has signed across the board. He's a busy guy. He's not someone that obviously just works in transfer windows. He's busy all the time trying to find the best and the brightest for various roles and responsibilities within Tottenham Hotspur to redefine what our youth development process is like, to go and try and find some of the, the gems of players that are out there every single year that are emerging in various divisions, various smaller clubs in corners of the world where we can bring them in at good valuation, develop them and help them hopefully improve the first team, but at the very least become a future uh, profit cash cow. So I just think we, maybe we need to be thinking and keeping a closer eye on 
on Paratici's work because in the long run, his success or failure at Tottenham Hotspur is going to have far more impact on the viability of us going forward than a here today gone tomorrow manager like Conte and the players that have been stalwarts and keystones, linchpins in our team over the last 10 years like Hugo Lloris, Harry Kane and Sonny those players will play their final game for Tottenham at some point Tottenham will need to have whatever's next in place and when you look at how busy this guy has been recognise how influential and important he is for the next five years, the next ten years of Tottenham Hotspur. Daniel Levy clearly has put an awful lot of trust in him to give him the green light to rebuild every area of the footballing side. I don't know why I keep doing this. <laughs> this is just a piece of paper. But he does have the names of some of the appointments. So, I'd love to know what your early thoughts are on Paratici. Are you impressed with his signings? Are you underwhelmed by some of his signings? Have you taken any time to look into the, the histories of these men and women that have been appointed to re-envision, redevelop the development side of our club? I'd love to know your thoughts. I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't spent that much time looking into the likes of Greta Steins and, and any of the other names on that list. I will be. I'm going to be because I feel that it's just really dawned on me how how much weight he is going to have in the influence of Tottenham after this generation of players moves on. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I like uh, share and subscribe to the channel. I love you all. I'll see you for I don't know a live stream or another one of these tomorrow. Um, apologies for the uh, boring content today. There's not much else to talk about. Like, share and subscribe, guys. And as always, as always, bye-bye.